This video is probably not for you. <laughs> I should say that going in the door. Um, if by any chance you happen to know what this is, and this is not some kind of foreign object to you, then you want to watch this video. But if you don't know what this is, you need to go watch somebody else because I promise you're just going to be bored and you just won't understand. So for the rest of you that do know what this is, then uh, let's talk about this little animal for a minute. This is a manifold for a bijou, bijou, bijoie, I don't know how you say it, bijou oiling system for a uh, milling machine. And what you have is this is the manifold and each one of these is a small metering device and they're actually different. Uh, they have different numbers uh, depending on uh, I guess where it goes on the machine and uh, these allow a certain amount of oil to pass through them at a metered rate. Well, wouldn't you know, uh, as time goes by, they get plugged up and they get uh, uh, full of uh, fuzz from the <laughs> high-quality fuzzy oil filter. And uh, it ends up uh, plugging these things. And that's just the half of it because, as those of you know, that lubricants, they also contain waxes in them. And well, as time goes by or if the machine doesn't get used for a while or whatever, these things start to plug up. And that's a real problem when you have... Uh, sliding surfaces on your machine that are uh, wearing away and not getting properly lubricated. So you can go ahead and buy these, and uh, and if that's what you want to do, and uh, you want to pay, and there's the we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight here. There's uh, two or three more. I think three more on the machine. And uh, yeah, these usually range about fifteen to twenty-five dollars a pop. And, uh, and I said, yeah, I don't think so, not for, uh, not for one of these small little fittings. So uh, I have already taken the liberty and loosened these guys up. And uh, let's, take a peek at, uh, let's take a peek at one of these and see what we got. And uh, maybe I could try to get you some decent, decent shots of this little guy. This is a, it says, is that going to work? Can everybody see that? It is a FJB number one. And there is even a little arrow on here to tell you which way that the oil flows. And uh, as we can see, the top of it has some kind of a silver part. Now, I don't know if this was removable. Is, isn't this really nice? Look at these fingers. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is removable, but I have not had one come out on me so far. And, uh, and that's a good thing. Now... Let's get something with a pointy bit on it and take a poke around inside of this little guy and see what we got. Now I can feel it's actually kind of spongy. Now this sponge material is that fuzz that comes from the oil filter in the main reservoir. And uh, it is most definitely got a chunk of it in there so you can sit here and you can pick at this and by the time you get done you'll be three sheets to the wind because you've had so much shiner bock you'll probably be trying to clean your ear with this so here is my suggestion seeing this is already plugged and uh, I've already put compressed air actually on these and these are plugged I'm gonna show you the down and dirty way to uh, save yourself you know, uh, quite a few bucks and get this thing free and clear and opening and working again. And you are going to be shocked because I've seen guys, they boil it in water, they uh, carb cleaner. Yeah, that's really yucko in there. Uh, they clean these with carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner, uh, Dawn dish soap, hot water, you name it. You don't have to do any of that. Uh, you can let hydraulic power do the work for you, and I'm going to show you how. So let's see if we can get a uh, little better look here. And uh, yes, this is uh, 
absolute disaster right now. I've been extremely busy with about 19 different projects going on. And this is the answer. This is actually how you do this. Ow. All right. Try not to burn my light here. Propane torch. So all you safety Nazis can go ahead and give me my thumbs down now. That's fine. <laughs> all right. Now this thing is brass, so it's not any real big whoop. And what you're going to see burning off actually is, uh, besides it'll be some of that crap inside of there, that's, uh, that's what we've got going on. There's also the wax that's inside there plugging up its real teeny tiny little orifices. And uh, so we're going to get this dude nice and hot. And of course she's going to smoke and oh god that stinks. Oh <laughs> foul. Very foul. <laughs> yeah, yuck. Look at the splooge coming out of it. That's yeah, disgusting. That's that uh, fuzz burning. And uh, don't really be afraid to get this thing really hot. And uh, just keep some water at the ready. And uh, I'm going to send it for a dunk. All right. So now that she's had a little bath, we're going to keep on uh, throwing some more heat at it. Yeah, what you're seeing is that water inside of it boiling off and one of the good things with it is it's also taking all the crud with it probably all the uh, leftover waxes and stuff from the lubricant through the years and uh, another bath and what I have found is uh, actually if you do this usually about three maybe four times uh, try to get it to really Get it to really cook. And then at some point, go ahead and take a compressed air hose, get a cool and compressed air hose through it, and uh, you're going to be shocked. It's going to be uh, wide open, and uh, you're going to be a richer man because of this. Now, if you want to spend a ton of money, go for it. It doesn't bother me at all. But, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta pick your battles. I'd rather spend my money on tooling than these things if these things can be opened up and uh, push oil where I need it. All right. Let's see what we got. Nope. Ugh. And before this goes back on, you take and stick it on the wire wheel and at least pretty it up. Mm hmm. So you do this, you want to pay attention to the arrow. There's our, there's our arrow right there. Let's uh, give this a blast of air. And with that, boy, that's awful hard to see way down in there. Apologize for that. But it is wide open. And that's it. Make it pretty. Stick it back in the same hole you got it out of. Keep these things straight. And uh, do the next one. You've only got a crap ton of them to do. And uh, that's about it. So uh, great seeing you all. I'm not going to tell you to stay safe. I'm not going to tell you to stay home and hide. That's all nonsense. But uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.